we've just come down here, Akuru Mouth, September, don't know what the date is. Uh, it's the first public holiday I've had in a September ever, so it's that day. We drove over today, uh, it's about 7 o'clock at night, we came down for a recce. Low tide was about half an hour ago, it's changed a bit. Uh, I'm currently walking on this bar, um, which has washed itself up. Filling in the channel we fished last year, uh, so a different approach will be required. Um, there's a good scooping bank further back, lots of loose gravel, which will make it a bit tricky for a start until a bit of a track gets worn in it. Looks okay. Uh, maybe set netters fishing there tomorrow. Don't know, we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Not raining yet. Nothing in there. I think we'll call it a day, there's no white bait here. Well, it's the morning. Uh, we're coming down to the river. Everything's pretty calm. The sea's pretty flat. We had a bit of rain overnight, but uh, no discernible increase in the current in the river, which may be a problem today because there wasn't much current when we were scooping last night. It was about an hour after low tide. But we're down here. Uh, we've got it to ourselves. I'm going to take that as a bad sign, um, but we'll have a few scoops and uh, see what we can pull out. Just saw a seal. Don't think he's white baiting. One. Oh, here he is. Ah, hello. Yeah, uh, I think that's from the wire mouth. <laughs> well, there's one or two there, so we'll see what happens. So we just had another scoop, we've got about 12, um, seem to be catching them down the front where the waves are a bit higher, which is uh, probably pretty typical. Hopefully uh, when the tide comes up they move around the corner a bit where it's a bit easier scooping, but there is a little current in the, in the river so uh, it's not impossible to drag the net down which is good. Well, that was nice. Uh, half to three quarters of a cup, just in one short scoop from basically nothing being in the river. The tide is coming in fast now, so I suspect we won't be able to fish for long, but uh, we'll make hay while the sun shines. There's more than 20 in there, Max.
How many gear can you got? Uh, One, two, like three, four. Yeah, right. Go with it. Yeah, nothing in there. <laughs> you get anything? You don't know. Let's have a look. Look at it around this way. This is this is wind operated this one. Yeah. A good job. Well, as always, you forget something when you go on a trip like this, and this year I forgot the scales, the sieve, and the bags. Um, we've got a sieve and some bags from the local shop, and I've spent the last hour or so just tidying up the bait we caught today, and here it is. We'll bag it up now and get it frozen down, and we'll have to wait till we get home until we weigh it, but I think today's been pretty successful, all things given. So it's the morning of day three, uh, we've come back down here, we've got some company down here this morning, a couple of other scoopers, um, we've had one scoop, got about 60, so that's not a bad start, maybe we were down here a bit late, uh, it's supposed to rain, so uh, hopefully it'll hold off for a wee while, but we better get back into it.
Well, we had that relatively good first drag, uh, then about a dozen, maybe 20, and then four. Um, if it's anything like yesterday, the best should still be to come, but um, just not sent at the moment, eh? We'll have a few more drags and see how we go. The other scoopers down here, they seem to be getting a little bit, um, little puddings in the bottom of their nets. Um, I'm assuming that's white bait and not stones though. The things were a bit quiet, but we just picked up a shoal then when I didn't have the camera running. Go back and have another go. white baiting. So that's it for today. We got a few good shoals uh, tailed off right there at the end when the seawater started pushing up the river. I reckon we got just under a pound so pretty happy with that. The range just set in here. Well, it's a heavy drizzle at the moment. It's supposed to get heavier. Uh, and through to tomorrow morning, so we make it a bit wet tomorrow as well. Well, it's morning of the third main day of fishing. Um, it's supposed to be absolutely hosing down, but it's not, which is great. We've got a few bit of rain overnight, so the river's up probably a couple of feet. There's a bit of current down here. Conditions actually look pretty good. Slight discolour in the river. Um, could be a good day. Might not be. We've had two drags already. We've got about 40, so um, it's right on low tide, so, so who knows. But um, stay tuned. We'll see how we go. Uh, and no Max today, he decided he was going to have a, a motel room today, so <laughs> uh, that might be good luck for me, you always miss out when you're not here, eh? that time so it's pretty poor um just get a shower come through as well so oh well keep trucking so the one drag i didn't video I actually got some uh, here they are
still raining, we're still picking them up though, we're getting 40, 50, 60, sometimes a bit more. Um, we're starting to pick them up on the uh, straight round the corner here now, so I'm hoping to put a little bit of current here, we might start picking up a few more. And we'll see how we go. So there you have it, not quite as much as the first day I don't think, but more than yesterday, so happy enough. Um, gonna head back and uh, get this bagged up and get out of the weather. I reckon we got about 800 grams, happy enough with that, but it's still bloody raining. There is white bait in it. Six white bait. No, wait a minute. Seven. Seven white bait. It's like being on Sesame Street.
been a bit hit and miss, you catch 10 and then you catch 50 and then you think, eh, not so good and then you get a few and typical last day. Well, I think I'm going to call it. That's the end of another successful West Coast trip. Um, I didn't take any video of the last couple of drags I did, but I did get some video of emptying the net. And um, as you can see, we're getting some good little shoals, nothing outstanding, just accumulating during the day. And um, I think we got between sort of half and three quarters of a pound all told. Um, for the trip, I suspect just over two kilograms. We don't have the scales with us. We'll wait when we get home and we'll throw it up on the screen about now. Anyway, we'll uh, clean up the bait, pack up and head home and we'll catch you next time.